everyone, welcome back to GM Magique. Today I am using a brand new microphone thanks to my best friend in the world and uh, also I'd like to say thank you to my Illumina who sent message, I mean who sent several messages for me this morning saying that the pronunciation for this word um, should be Pall Mall when it comes to the um, central London street which starts from Trafalgar Square and also which is famous for the clubs but the way that I pronounced it yesterday Paul Mall is not correct when it comes to the name of the street uh, but you could pronounce it as Paul Mall when it comes to this kind of sport uh, because it is a very old-fashioned obsolete uh, sport which is quite like croquet and yeah that's it and let's start the lesson oh by the way um the second lovely person that I just mentioned is actually working for Huawei at the moment so this morning when I found that out I was like huh that's a huge coincidence okay so start from this um let's start from the subtitle neither American hawks nor COVID-19 can stop the Chinese tech titan well two things that need, we need to pay attention to hawks we mentioned it yesterday and a few weeks back when we were talking about politics um, so yesterday I mentioned mew up here is when you attach a hawk to a cage and um, so hawk could be could literally be a kind of animal but it could also mean aggressive people or warlike politicians when it comes to when when it is a political context and this is what the subtitle is talking about. Also, um, Titan, you could understand it as a giant or I think, yes, there are quite a lot of synonyms here. Titan, giant and uh, behemoth, we have Leviathan. Or if you are quite familiar with uh, Gulliver's Journey, you will know this one. Oops. This is name uh, Brobdingnagian. This is an adjective for uh, a country where people are huge, <laughs> and that appeared in Gulliver's Traveling. And also here, America has barred exports from of some American technology to the Chinese champion. Again, it's another synonym. You could say it's a tech giant, it's a tech titan, it's a champion, anything you like. Also, you could say the top telecom top telecoms equipment company and um i forgot to mention that um the blue parts are related to background information and the orange parts are more related to linguistic aspects and let's just finish this considering this is a very very short article i would read all of them before we embark on it Eric Xu, one of Huawei's three rotating chairmen, did not hold back non-stop pressure from the US government in a deliberate attempt to spread this information has put our company under the spotlight, he wrote in the firm's annual report released on March twenty sorry, March thirty first. This was meant to explain why the telecoms equipment giant missed its revenue target of a hundred and 35 billion dollars by 12 billion dollars so a bit of background information first who is this eric shu um i found him on huawei's official website so apparently um according to huawei's rotating chairman system mr shu will assume the position of rotating and acting chairman of huawei from october the 1st to march 21st so actually when this issue of the economist went to press he was no longer well um, according to this news he was no longer the rotating chairman but it's quite interesting to find out that huawei is actually using a rotating chairman system um so yeah we're learning something new also i took another look at huawei's official website and i noticed that the services of huawei does not only include um smartphone and 5g networks um as you could see it offers well huawei's clients are 
well, we have individual consumers or enterprises or carrier. Here, the word carrier does not mean as in、um, airlines. They are simply、uh, companies which offers telecoms services. For example, like、um, China Mobile、uh, or、um, O2 in the UK. What else do we have?、Um, I can't think of anything else, <laughs> but、uh, yeah. So pay attention. This is different. Also, as part of the background information plan, let's have a short look at the、um, economist's introduction of Huawei as a company in terms of why the U.S. does not like it that much. Okay, I need to go to my. Yeah, it's right here. So what is this war really about, and why is Huawei in the middle of it? Founded in China in 1987, Huawei is now the world's largest maker of telecoms equipment, with revenues exceeding 103 billion dollars. When you think about Huawei, you might think about the handset. That makes sense, since it sold 200 million of them in 2018 alone. But close to half of its revenue comes from selling network equipment. And it's this infrastructure side of the company that worries governments much more than the sort of consumer handset side. With Ericsson and Nokia, it's one of the three biggest manufacturers of this equipment. In fact, since 2014, it's outgrown all its competitors, reaching over three. Billion people. That's actually. This is how networks function. About Huawei as a company, and that is really surprising for me because I didn't know.、Um, actually, forty percent of his revenue comes from five、um, G networks or telecom telecoms equipments rather than just smartphones. So that's very surprising for me. Also. In the second paragraph, we have America has barred exports of some American technology to the Chinese champion. It is threatening to impose further sanctions soon and has tried, with mixed success, to strong arm American allies to reject Huawei's next generation 5G networking kit. Here, mixed success. You could say that to opinions. For example, to a certain、um, current affair, you could say, "Well, we have, well."、Um, Well, somebody has imposed a sanction on a certain country, then with mixed opinions from his、um, counselors or ministers. That is to say, people have different opinions on that. Also, strong arm is a synonym for aggressive. And also, we have bullying or threatening. And what else do we have? I think we. I think I put more here. Hang on a sec. Yeah, I also put force for. Um. Yes, coercive. That's a good one. Coercive, oppressive. All this kind of stuff. You can get my notes on my WeChat official platform, so don't worry about taking notes right now. And next one, networking kit. It's like a package, or it's like a kind of product that you could use to、um, deliver 5G networking. So don't worry too much about that. And for all Mr. Shui's outrage, the results were rather impressive. Revenues rose by nineteen percent year on year. So when you write this year on year, sometimes when you're doing translation or interpreting, especially、um, consecutive interpreting, where you need to take notes, you could just say Y O Y, and that's actually what I found from Huawei's official platform. Sorry, not official platform, from their official website. I think I got it. By the way, I really enjoy their. Um, official website. Here you have Huawei facts. Then yeah, you got so much data, and you would know what this company is about. By the way, um, this is not definitely not a product placement. So I'm not doing anything for this company. <laughs> of course, I will be flattered if they want me to do it for them, but that's not the case here. 
they have more than doubled in four years. Net profit rose by nearly six percent to 63 billion yuan, or 8.8 billion U.S. dollars. The firm's cash,、uh, sorry, cash flow from operations rose by 22 percent year on year to 91 billion yuan. So you see, they were very rich, even if they missed their、um, annual revenue target by 12 billion. They are still a bastion for cash flow, and then the firm responded to America's assault by redoubling its efforts at indigenous innovation. Here, redoubling is not like literally saying we have doubled it and then now we are redoubling it. It's simply saying make something stronger to increase something to make it more numerous, through which it's where is it. Through which it sources and invents as much as it can in China. Sources is more like knows know where to get a certain kind of product. This will not be easy, though. Its premium smartphones now have fewer American parts. Its overall use of American inputs actually rose last year to nearly nineteen billion dollars, from eleven billion dollars in twenty eighteen. The difference lies in parts and inputs. So basically, even if we are saying Huawei is is becoming more and more independent right now, but still it's not as as independent as we thought. And on the on the bright side, its kit remains popular outside America. Although American measures limited its use of Google's Android smartphone operation operating system. Its consumer business group increased sales by 34 percent to 467 billion yuan, owing to strengths in China and emerging markets. This is more about the background information because we now have a glimpse of who are the major driving force for this company's sales. And then its 5G gear is more advanced and less costly than offerings from European rivals. Um. Ericsson and Nokia. These two and Huawei are now the top three telecoms、um, provider in this whole world. Huawei now boasts over ninety five G contracts worldwide, half of them in Europe. And as we all know, there has been quite a bit of bickering between the United States and、um, many、um, European countries because politicians from the United States have been trying to.、Um, Insinuates that it is not safe for European countries to use Huawei to provide five G networks simply because it is not from the West. Because、um, after watching the introduction video of the Economist, I realized that Huawei actually has provided all their codes、um, for、um, further observation from European countries as well as Britain. And even so, they have not gained any trust from the U.S. government. I mean, it has proved that there's no backdoors in the system in their codes, but still, it's not working. Trump is not trusting this company. But、um, I'm sim- simply providing all this information to, you know, complete your background information. Not too many people know that Huawei has provided their codes to, you know, not. I mean, only a tiny bit of company have done that before, but I don't know why.、Um, since Huawei has proved its innocence,、um, America is still not trusting it. And then、um, Duncan Clark of BDA China, a cons- consultancy, likens Huawei to the. <laughs> This is so funny.、Um, before we talk about that, we have to say that likens it is like compare, or equate, or.、Um, To use an analogy, but here is the villainous robots in the Terminator films.、Um, villainous is something really bad, evil, or you could say despicable, as in despicable me, and not just indestructible, but able to rebuild itself after any attempt to take it down. Even COVID nineteen may not slow it down. As more people zoom to work. Zoom is the app for online meetings, and governments everywhere <laughs> covered the sort of zippy mobile networks Huawei helps build. So here,、um, covered means、um, you like something, you 
uh, have a preference towards something. For example, I put more synonym here. We have desire or be consumed with desire for basically just you, it's just you really want something. But covet sometimes is used in a very negative sense in as in you shouldn't covet a man who doesn't belong to you or you shouldn't covet other people's belongings. And then the sort of zippy mobile networks. Zippy means it's so fast and you could say uh, speedy as well. And just think about that in terms of um, the European network for the moment. Uh, if you still remember, uh, two weeks ago, I think we mentioned in uh, the World This Week business that um, Netflix and Disneyland Plus have to um, decrease their video quality because their network, their re internet connection is so patchy. Basically, that's oops that's all about it for today and um if you're interested to know more about huawei you could look it up on youtube because you'll find a lot more interesting video up there and yeah and that's it and i'll see you guys for another lesson bye